Japanese researchers at Yokohama National University have demonstrated a promising alternative to nickel and cobalt-based batteries for electric vehicles EVs. Their approach uses manganese in the anode to create a high-energy density battery that is both cost-effective and sustainable. EV manufacturers prefer nickel and cobalt batteries since they deliver higher energy density, translating to more range in a smaller battery pack. However, both components are expensive to source and relatively rare, making them unsustainable options when EV usage soars worldwide. Lithium-ion Li-ion batteries are the preferred rechargeable battery option for most electronics. However, their lower energy density puts them on the back foot regarding EVs. Research and development efforts to improve them have led to the introduction of better Li-ion options. Manganese in the anode material alongside lithium, such as li no 2 has also been experimented with. However, applications have been limited due to the electrode's poorer performance. Researchers at Yokohama National University YNU, in Japan have addressed this issue in their recent work. After extensively studying li no 2 in its various forms using X-ray diffraction, scanning electron microscopy, and electrochemical methods, Researcher Naoki Yabuchi and his team at YNU found that a monoclinic layered domain activates the structural transition of li 2 to a spinel-like phase. A monoclinic system is a type of group symmetry of a solid crystalline structure. li 2 improves the electrode material's performance by facilitating the phase transition. Without the phase transition, a li 2 electrode has suboptimal performance. Hello and welcome back to EV's Queen, thank you for subscribing to our channel. We provide the most recent and updated news about electric mobility every day. We're thrilled to introduce three unique membership levels on our channel, Circuit Squires, Tesla Knights, and Volt Sovereigns. Each level offers its own set of exclusive perks and content, perfectly suited for your passion for electric vehicles. As a member, you'll play a vital role in supporting our mission to deliver 12 engaging video updates daily about the latest in the electric vehicle world. Your membership not only helps sustain our efforts, but also brings you closer to the heart of the EV community. From this finding, nanostructured li 2 with the monoclinic layered domain structures and high surface area has been directly synthesized using a simple solid-state reaction, Yabuchi said in a press release. The reaction has no intermediary steps and can be directly synthesized from two components using a calcination process. Post-synthesis testing revealed that a battery with a li 2 electrode reached an energy density of 820 watt-hours per kilogram WHKG1, compared to a 750 WH per kg obtained with a nickel-based battery. Only lithium-based batteries have an even lower energy density of 500 WH per kg. The researchers told Interesting Engineering in an email that manganese, when used in other polymorphs, typically shows half the energy density capacity. Previous work using manganese reported a voltage decay in batteries, wherein voltage output dropped over time, reducing the electronic device's performance. However, with the Liam no 2 electrode, the researchers did not observe such outcomes. Manganese dissolution either due to phase changes or a reaction with an acidic solution can still occur. The press release added that the researchers plan to address this using a highly concentrated electrolyte solution and a lithium phosphate coating. The researchers are confident that their work has contributed to developing a new offering that is competitive with existing options, sustainable to produce, and environmentally friendly in the long run. They look forward to commercializing their technology and its usage in the EV industry. The research team added in their email to IE, we have found a very cheap methodology, and that is the important finding of our study. Thanks for watching.